Okay, to milligrams. So grams to milligrams, multiply. Milligrams, leave it alone. Kilograms to milligrams, multiply twice. So multiply once and multiply twice here. Simplify and calculate, that's what you have. Four significant figures, one, two, three, four. Five is greater or equal to five, so we round the four up to five. So the four becomes five and the five just simply becomes zero, okay? Okay, this time we wanna to convert to milligrams. So again, you can see that tons, largest to smallest. We need to multiply three times. And here, grams, one time. Okay, so times by thousand once. So three times here, leave this one alone, sorry, leave this one alone, and once by thousand here. Simplify and um, calculate, that's what you should have. And you can see the question asks you to correct it to two significant figures in scientific notation. So can you guys convert the two significant figures first? So we're gonna go one, two, nine is definitely greater than five, so it's gonna be one, two, and then the rest becomes zero. So in scientific notation, make sure you put the decimal between the one and the two, and that means we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six times to the right. So 1.2 times 10 to the power of six. That's what you need to do. Okay, so sometimes they will ask you to do significant figures and scientific notation at once, so make sure you be careful with those. Okay, to milligrams again, so leave this one, let's multiply, let's simplify these ones to milligrams. So again, you know that grams to milligrams is just multiply once, and kilograms, multiply twice. Like that, once and twice. You guys calculate that, check, and in two significant figures, first, it's see how nine is greater than five, so it's gonna be 56,000. And in scientific notation, 5.6 times 10 to the power of four, because we need to move to the, power, um, to the right by four places. Okay, but you should be very familiar, isn't it? This is very repetitive.